The green van is finally getting some color. Some reason for it being called green. Also known as uh, Sunny and Cher or the powerhouse. The cabinet is in. The electronics are behind the green doors there. Batteries down below. Potty office chair is done. The seating's moving along and getting better. Got some lighting up top there. Little underglow rim. The countertop isn't there yet, but that, uh, that, that rim will glow underneath the countertop as well as the doors here. One other change that happened besides the potty office chair getting upholstered, did away with the legs underneath the bed. So now that is all storage and the beds are completely supported by these straps. Mr. Mike is taking a nap. This configuration has lots of room for hauling bikes or quad runners or snowmobiles or anything that'll fit in your sprinter because the bed folds up all the way. Then the table comes down gives you plenty of room to spread out and work or eat. And then at nighttime you bring the mattresses down and you've got a queen size bed. Top deck is 68 inches wide by 80 inches long from the back door to the air conditioner here. In order to be flat against the door back here when it's closed, it would hit up top. So you can see I'm taking advantage of the window space, the window recess, and still had to cut a little corner out of it just to miss the window frame. I could have lowered it a little bit, but I wanted the bed to be as high as possible for storage underneath. On the driver's side also, we're right up against the wall back here with about a quarter of an inch gap some places. As we lift the bed up, you can see it uses that gap of the window and sits all the way out. Between the baskets, come down, hook on. Surely I'll do something a little bit better than that. Bed number one. Today's progress update I've done away with the legs completely. Side A now comes down to be a desk. The potty doesn't come out until you pull the pin. Office chair is in place. Have a little lunch. Straps hold it up. And now to bed. I never liked making the bed. It's not supported by the back doors. It's just got four straps. The one in that corner is kind of short, but everything's supported by this side anyhow with the overlap there. And I'm not in the least bit worried that it's weak. It is way strong for anything you want to do in a van. Quite the surprise that uh, that didn't hold up a little bit better than it did. But as you can tell, we're designed good enough to not worry about it. Analysis, if you will, of the design flaw. This strap on this side of the bed was only ever intended to hold this side of the bed if someone were to put 
the first side of the bed against the wall or have both against the wall and then put this side down first. I uh, didn't want to hyperextend the hinges, so that strap was put on there just to catch the bed, not to hold a sleeper, certainly not to hold someone jumping around on it the way I was. Uh, apparently in the design, I made that strap a little bit too short. Probably folded over at the corner here one time too many. So there was too much weight relying on a sheet metal screw that popped out. Uh, it was never designed to hold 150 pounds, but apparently it did that until I jumped around on it a little bit. And well, it let go. This side is hooked into sheet metal. Uh, the back side is hooked into the side walls so that you would have to have to shear that screw off, not just pull it out. So I'm not too worried about the support side falling.